tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Two things people, subscribers and other people very kindly asked for me is A, support. Can you give me support? I This doesn't work with me. Can you help me here? And the second thing is, can you do a tutorial about this or that? Because your tutorial is interesting, but I'd like to do something different. Um, both things I cannot do because of the time limit. Uh, I'm doing tutorials just for fun. And uh, because I'm quite familiar with Maya, uh, actually I've uh, started uh, using Maya since version 1 and it did lots of computer animations in the early 2000s, but not anymore, really. There's certain reasons for that, uh, especially uh, other kinds of work I'm doing. But uh, I cannot give support and I cannot follow your wishes to create a tutorial about this or that. So today I just wanted to create a 3D texture and that's what I'm doing now. Okay, let's go to the curves and surfaces section for a change. We could do the same thing with polygon modeling here, but uh, I'm a NURBS fan as you know. And uh, we move this uh, sphere just over here. We create uh, a plane which we move over here and rotate a little bit and a torus there and the torus can be a little bit bigger and we move it over here and we rotate, rotate it like this so we have four objects in the scene all NURBS doesn't matter could be um, polygons as well right mouse click on any of them new material and we create an Arnold surface shader like here so they're all white basically if we change the color here they're all red trivial okay uh, we want to map the color uh, to a texture and the typical thing would be uh, like this the base color uh, we click here and then we choose for example file texture so we kind of paint a file or glue a file onto that texture, uh, onto that object. And uh, I often do this with a grid. Um, and uh, you see the grid working when you click here. So the quick, uh, grid distributes over all the objects and uh, sits properly on all the objects. So, so this is a nice thing about NURBS, by the way. Let's undo this because I want to do something different. Um, let's go back to material attributes. I'm back at the same place here, color. And this time I want to map the color with a 3D texture and it's right here. This is a selection of 3D textures here and uh, I don't know if Arnold has 3D textures, not really. Um, and for example the crater or the fluid texture. I did a a tutorial about fluid textures in 3D, the mandelbrot, the marble, the rock, the, uh, the wood is a little bit strange and I don't know why that is, Pro probably because it's sort of legacy. But uh, let's go for crater for example and um, what happens now is quite interesting. Have a look. You see the crater distributing on all objects and uh, the interesting thing about 3D textures is that you have a box here and when you scale that box, for example, you scale the texture all over the objects which are mapped with it. When you move it, the textures move with that box. In the attribute editor, you have the interactive placement, that's actually what we do now, and you have the fit to group B box, bounding box uh, button here. If you click on it, the box will stretch all over the objects which carry that shader. So it's a big one now. And um, you can move it like this. And of course, you can animate it like this. And of course, you can map other textures onto that box. You have the texture here, the crater texture. By the way, you can rotate it all right, like this. 
Um, what I want to do now to finalize this, uh, you have three channels. That's the color channels here. Uh, you have a shaker, which uh, does different things here. And um, you can go to channel one, map this with, for example, a checkerboard. You see the checkerboard working now, only in certain sections. You see, um, go back here and map the channel two, which is the green one currently sitting here, green here. Uh, you can map this with, for example, uh, a ramp and choose a, a U ramp and uh, you can make the ramp go from red to white. So this is the ramp working now. Go back here and you map the channel 3 with, for example, a grid. And then you have all kinds of mappings here which you can, of course, use in combination with that box here. And the box still works even when it's not covering the objects. Do these things render in Arnold? Well, let's create an Arnold light, Sky Dome, and render the scene. Yes, it does. And having said this, I wish you a very good day and Keep trying out things with textures. Bye-bye.